The Beef Digger starting lineup is brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Proud to be Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan. With locations in Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush, they're available 24-7 for your banking needs. So the Beef Digger is starting with uh, Ryan Dunker, Armando Sacido, Ben Brown, Gunnar Guzman, and Jose Campa. And for Estes Park, we've got Irving Peraza, Derek Hamill, Finn Martin, or Thomas Sula, as they mentioned, uh, Brent Crestiel, and Nick Rastetter. The opening tip is brought to you by Buildings by Design. Buildings by Design has experience to complete your project from start to finish. Get the quality you deserve in your building by starting your build project right. Start with Buildings by Design. This is very similar to doing the Olympics. With uh, We found out after the last game that uh, they have two uh, foreign exchange students. So pronouncing some of those names kind of sounds like being at the Olympics. <laughs> the Bee Diggers win the tip off. Ben Brown has it up top, kicks it out to Ryan Dunker, free throw line. Back to Gunnar Guzman behind him. Over to Armando Saucedo on the left wing. Dunker up top. Over to Guzman on the right wing. Hits Dunker on the cut. Dunker's layup is no good. Rebound him by Estes. Pushed by Rastetter. Cross court pass to the corner to Peraza. Peraza three is good from the corner. So Estes comes out full court press. Trying to get the speed of the game up. Gunnar Guzman from the block. That shot doesn't go. Another rebound from Estes. Braza has in the right wing. Dribbles around up top. Super quick. Dribbles in the lane. Gets it over to Crestile. Crestile up top to Chacon. Chacon for three. Doesn't go. Dunker comes down with that rebound. Brings the ball up himself. Up the right side. Gets it to Saucedo in the corner. Armando drives in the lane and gets the bucket. The first press basket of the game is brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants, which provides civil engineering services for aviation, municipal, commercial, and residential clients located in Colorado. Western Engineering is invested and involved in the communities they work in. They want to wish good luck to all the athletes as they compete this year. So we had a kickball. Stays with Estes. Chacon to inbound. Gets it to Peraza. Peraza dribbles in, hands off to Crestile. Crestile over to Chacon. Chacon, a couple dribbles. Passes up top to Grazo. Grazo has a shot go off. Gets the rebound and gets the bucket back. Brush inbounds the dunker against full court press. He takes it up to the left side this time. Gets poked away by Chacon. Chacon gets the. Get, tracks it down, long pass ahead to Grasso. Long cross court pass to Peraza. Back to Grasso in the paint, and that's good. Well, you already see Peraza's speed coming to effect, creating uh, multiple easy shots for Estes Park. Very easy driving and kicking. Coach Whipple calls a 30 second timeout here, trying to regroup. This brush timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, Turn to the office, Greg Mullen and Brush. Home, Auto, Life, Health, State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call today, 842-4555. So 5.52 to go here in the first. Estes leads Brush 7-2 to um, very early in the game, but, boy, that speed is just it's, it's, it's something you can't coach. It's yeah. something you can't, you know, you, you do your best to call it up and, and slow it down. Especially if you run him off the three-point line, which Praz has already shown he can shoot from outside, so you got to be wary of that. But once you blow by him trying to get him off, then he's already by you. So brush inbounds, gets the dunker, half court, gets the free throw line, his jumper's good. Dunker, dunker with a nice floater. Sus no, Ben Brown gets the steal on the inbound, gets the layup and the foul. So he's going to go to the line to shoot one. Nice hustle play by Ben Brown. And that was on Grasso, his first, first team foul. See how Brush does with free throws. Yeah. It was a struggle last night uh, against Resurrection Christian. Brown misses that one. Almost has another steal on the outlet pass. 
They get it down quick to uh, Peraza. Peraza drives baseline, gets the layup. Get right back in that full court press. Saucedo brings it up. Dribbles in, double team, gets it through to Brown. Brown to Campa. Campa goes baseline. Kicks it. Let's try and kick it out to Brown. Goes to Peraza instead. Peraza with the full court layup doesn't go. Campa comes up with a rebound. Brown pushes up the court. Pass to Gunnar Guzman inside, and that's a bucket for Gunnar. 9 to 8. Estes. Peraza has it down. Came down court here really quick. Brown ties up Peraza. We got a jump ball. The Estes on the possession arrow. Here he comes in for Campa. It's really good to see Brush come out with some fire. We can just forget about last night. That was just awful all around. Yeah, and there was. A good thing it didn't carry over to this game. Absolutely. Grosso for three. Shot goes up. Long rebound out to Peraza. Down to Crestiel in the corner. That doesn't go. And uh, Peraza gets a rebound at half court. Dribbles around, dribbles in the lane. He's going to be fouled by Urich on the drive. He changes changes his pace so quickly yeah. and, and direction so quickly. It's, it's hard to try and stay in front of him. Pretty smooth. Lopez comes in the game now for Armando Sacido to give him a breather. BS is ball into their own basket. Get it into Grasso, left wing. Dribbles in the lane, kicks out to Crestiel in the corner for three, and that is good. 12 to 8. Estes with the lead, 4.30 to go here in the first. Lopez brings it up, gets it over to Dunker. Long cross court pass to Brown, left wing, up top to Dunker. Dunker has it poked away by Chacon. Goes off Chacon's foot, be brushed the ball in front of the Estes bench. Chacon is equally as quick as Peraza. And not as much of an offensive threat, but defensively, he's he's all over the court and just don't know where he's at. If you have the ball, you better be watching. Get your head on the swivel there. Inbound goes to Dunker. Drives in the lane, layup. Nice drive there by Ryan. 12 to 10. Essence pushes the ball back up. Chacon gets the free throw line and looks for the pass to Grosso, and Grosso stopped. Pass goes out of bounds. Be Lopez inbounding for Brush. Rastetter comes in for Grasso. Rastetter also surprises in that game when he yeah. the inbounds pass and his head is up by the rim. Brush goes down. Dunker Brown over to Guzman. Nice passing there by the B diggers. Dunker gets the steal on the inbounds over to uh, to Brown. Brown with the layup. Brush takes the lead, 14-12, 3.53 to go. Another steal by Brown over to Dunker. Dunker for three in front of the S's bench, doesn't go. Lopez tracks it down, gets the rebound up to Brown. Brown stops at the free throw line, and he puts it in from the free throw line. 16-12, 3.35 to go here in the first. Nice run here by Brush, all started by their defense. Nice pass by Chacon to Rastetter, wraps it around Guzman, and Chacon is hurt, laying on the floor. Six points for Ben Brown. He's come out with a, a purpose today. A couple steals and, and high energy for good start for Brush. As, I think this is the best Ben's played so far this year. Yep. So Chacon leaves the game. Might as well play your best in the playoffs. Yep. Good time to do it. Lopez uh, gets the, in, the inbounds pass. Loses the handle. And they're going to call a backcourt violation on the pass going to Dunker, saying he wasn't across. <laughs> Turnover on the beat diggers there. Has to take over at half court. Armando comes in to give uh, Dunker a breather. So 3.20 to go here. Peraza has the ball up top. Kicks it over to Hamill. Hamill gets his pass stolen, or almost stolen. Rastetter fights for it with Brown. Get it back to Hamill in the corner. And that, that is stolen by Romano Sacido. Takes a full court for the layup. 18-14. Wow. Gunnar Guzman with the steal. Gets it to Lopez. Lopez left hand layup doesn't go. Kicks it back out on his rebound to Sacido. Sacido to Guzman. Nice pass. And easy bucket inside for Gunnar. Great passing by the beat diggers. Something that they didn't have last yep. night for sure. So Estes brings it down, gets it uh, Crystal in the corner. He travels with it. Another turnover for Estes. 
seven turnovers. Th Brush only has three. No, they're they're playing great. Their passes are right on yep. crisp. They're right where they need to be. Dunker comes back in, gives Brown much needed rest. So inbound to Saucedo. He's walking up. Estes falls back out of their full court press. Over to Dunker. Gunner Guzman on the baseline, and Gunner hits another one. 22-14. Brush might meet, meet their uh, total points from last <laughs> night here in the first quarter. They only scored 36 last night. Estes, Peraza dribbling around. Kicks it to Swanland in the corner. Five for the rebound. Rastetter comes up with it. Gets it to Chacon. Nope. Sorry, that was... Uh, Therese out to Cristal and Cristal hits a three, kind of slowing br some of Brush's uh, momentum there. 22-17, 150 to go here in the first. Brush passes the ball around, get it to Dunker on the right wing, and he hits a three. Boy, Brush is feeling it right now. Brother brings it down, hits it to Therese in the corner, and Saucedo gets the rebound. Dribbles down full court, goes around Swanlin. Layup doesn't go. Fight for the rebound. We're going to have a jump ball, be Brush's possession off possession arrow. Ryan Dunker tied him up. Well, they're getting on the floor. They're, they're, it's a it's completely different team yeah. from last night, and which is really good to see. Like we said, it was, they only scored 36 in the game. We've got a minute 22 to go here in the first quarter, and they're at 25. Yeah, I talked to Tyrone a little bit earlier, uh, and he's basically called out his team, saying, you know, just forget about it. We didn't play our best. What are we, what are we going to do about it? So they in the up. corner for three. <laughs> Holy cow, 106 to go, 28-17. Estes pushes it down, gets it to Grassland. Grassland gets the bucket inside. They're backing up. Kind of, kind of a... Ha Halfway trap. Lopez gets his pass stolen by Chacon, who's back in the game. Chacon dribbles to the right corner. Pass up top to Swanlin. Swanlin, his three is good. So you can shoot your way into it or you can shoot your way out of it. 35 seconds to go here. 28 22. Sacido with a drive in the lane. He's going to be fouled by Grassland. Or Grasso, I'm sorry. Uh, on the drive. There hasn't been a whole lot of whistles in this game No, either. it's been very high-paced and, and pretty clean. Brush out the ball into their own basket. Two fouls on Estes, one on Brush for the game so far. Brown back in, gets a layup inside on the inbound pass. Good pass by Saucedo there. Peraza brings it up. Gets it to Cristal in the corner. Back to Peraza up top. Gets it to Cone, left wing for three. That one is really long. Brown comes up with a rebound. Dribbles it up himself. Gets over to Dunker on left wing. Back to Brown for three. Might as well. That one's short. Estes comes up with a rebound. Brown steals it back. This is Ben's best game of his career. <laughs> Kicks it ahead to Donia. Is that the buzzer? Shot doesn't go. Woo! We'll take a break here. Uh, at the end of one, you score at Brush B Diggers 30, SS Park 22. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome back to the start of the second quarter. Um, Estes has the ball on the possession arrow. Chacon has it up top and gets it, you know, dribbles over the right wing, fakes pass to Rostetter, gets to Peraza in the corner, goes baseline, jumps up, does a couple spins with the ball, and uh, turns it over to Ben Brown. I think Brown's got five steals in the first quarter and At then least. this one. Brush pushes it down. Donia's from the right corner for Brush. Doesn't go. Dunker tipped the ball. I thought Brown was there. And uh, goes out of bounds. BS this ball. Both Brown and Guzman had eight points to lead Brush for, for that first quarter. Estes brings it down. Gives Braz on the left wing. Braz dribbles in the lane. Fadeaway jumper is good by Peraza. 
Now they come back with the full court press again. Donius has it. Nice pass over to Brown. Brown misses the layup. Frost under the rebound gets it to Peraza. Peraza pushes it left wing. Passes up to Chacon up top. Chacon looking for somebody to pass to. Gets the Rostutter inside. Rostutter loses the handle. Donius dives on it. Chacon comes up with it. Back to Rostutter. Pump fake. Drives in the lane. And his shot goes. And he was fouled by... We'll find out here in a second. By Dunker. So the shot goes. And he's going to the line. 30-26. Lead kind of dwindled a little bit here. 6.53 to go here in the second. Yeah, Estes Park has stayed right with them. They, ha they have four threes. Uh, same thing with uh, the girls. Uh, Misses a free throw. Gets his own rebound. Out to Chacon for three. That doesn't go. Raster punches it out to Peraza. And Dunker's going to be called. Peraza runs right into him. And, Dun and Dunker's going to be called for his second here in just a uh, couple of couple of seconds off the clock. So S. Park's going to take a 30 second timeout here. I really like what Brush has done. They, they've taken uh, good shots. They haven't rushed anything. Uh, high defense, which has given them that opportunity, but S. Park has stayed right in it with the threes mm -hmm. um, and, and their speed. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. It was just kind of like a. It, it, well, that's the way it was in Estes too. Was the game of runs. Yeah. Um, Estes came out in the first quarter, did really well. Brush came out, went up by 13 in the second quarter. Um, Brush continued about halfway through the third quarter, and then went back and forth from there. And uh, you know, you just gotta you have to weather the storm of these runs, but then you also gotta try and do your best to stop them. So that's the inbounds, gets, gets it to Chacon. Up to Grasso, stolen by Brown again. Brown dribbles it out and has it knocked away by Chacon. You, can, you can't get lazy and, and think you can just back it out because they're flying all over the place. So brush inbounds. Alfonso Sacido's in, gets it into Armando. Armando, his shot doesn't go, gets his own rebound. That doesn't go either. Fight for the rebound. Alfonso comes up with it. P passes over to Gunnar Guzman for the easy layup there. Nice ball movement. Good look by Alfonso to find Gunnar on the opposite side of the key. Hesses pushes it down. Get it out to Grasso up top. Pass in the lane through a lot of traffic to uh, Swanland. Doesn't go. Rush comes up with a steal. Hit to Lopez. It goes off of uh, Chacon's foot. So be brush the ball in front of their own bench. So Estes falls back. Coach yelled at him to get back into his zone. Now they switch up into a man. Brown has it right side. And they're going to call him for travel. That's uh that wasn't uh wasn't a good call there. <laughs> that was a nice play by Ben. Ragging on the refs again. I'm, I'm, huh? I'm all over the stripes tonight. <laughs> Get it right. It's playoff time. So that springs down. Swanland has it. Gets it stolen. Brown comes up with another one. Gets it across half court to Armando. Armando dribbles in the lane. Nobody stops him. An easy layup there by Armando. 34 26, 520 to go here in the second. Nobody steps out to stop Chacon. He dribbles in the to the uh, key. Kick out to Swanland. That doesn't go. Fight for the rebound. Alfonso comes up with it. Trap here by Estes on Lopez. Brush gets it down. Armando has it on the wing. Gets it back to Alfonso. Alfonso was fouled on the drive. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Oh, that was a delayed call there. Yeah, that was a little slow. It's probably that guy's haircut. <laughs> Cristal was called for that one from Estes. Just for reference, the ref that called that was bald. <laughs> High Plains Bank. High Plains Bank offers a wide variety of products that can be customized to fit your individual needs. See what over a century of customer service can do for you at High Plains Bank in Wiggins. 
So Alfonso misses the first. Second one coming. Estes comes in with a lot of subs here. 5-0-1 to go here in the second. Brush with an eight-point lead. Alfonso to make it nine, and he does. Jose Campa is going to give uh, Alfonso a breather. Good play by Alfonso while he was in. So Brush goes to a full-court press. He's going guarded by Brown. Gets up top of the key. Hands off to Rastetter in the key. Goes down to his knees after he lost the ball. Gets it back out to Chacon. Crossover try. Chacon dribbles in the lane. Doesn't get anything. And Armando gets the rebound. Passes it to Brown. A lot of trapping going on. And Armando just lazy pass there and goes out of bounds. Trying to get it to Gunner who is wide open under the basket. So S brings it up quickly. Campa knocks that pass out of bounds. So Brush is trying a half-court trap here. Chacon to inbound, gets it to Rastetter. Rastetter to Swanlin. Swanlin kicks it back out to Chacon. We've got a couple players in here. Barraza for three from the left wing. Doesn't hit anything. Gunner chases that one down. Gets it to Brown, and uh, Brown goes to dribble and goes off of S player's foot. 407 to go. Pace kind of, the scoring kind of slowed down a yep. little bit here. Not kind of, uh, not. it wasn't as wild as the first quarter. Lopez has it up top of the key, takes the three, that rims in and out. Brown the rebound. Ben, you are all over the place tonight. <laughs> Passing to uh, Guzman and gets his uh, shot blocked by Rastetter. Chacon comes up with it. Pass to Peraza. Peraza gets it to Hill. That pass was tipped. Brown comes up with that one. Lopez trying to dribble against the uh, trap. Got a pass out of it. And uh, had a kick, so Brush will keep the ball. Brush is still is moving the ball fantastic tonight, which has led to open shots defensively. Uh, they've really locked down the three-point line, which has kept Estes in the game so far. Well, they, have, they have very active hands. Yeah. So if, if there's a pass coming into the lane, they're right there for it. Passing to Guzman in the lane, and he gets the easy bucket underneath again. 37-26, 3.15 to go in the second. Swanlin has it, dribbles in the lane, kicks out to Peraz in the corner, dribbles baseline, stepped on the on the inline. They didn't call it. Goes over the shot. Campa comes up with a rebound. Kick it ahead to Saucedo. And his pass was tipped, going to Guzman. Armando's got to get two hands on those passes. Here it comes in. Give Gunner a breather. Gunner has 12 points this in the first half. He's been working the paint pretty well. Yes, he has. Martinez has the ball stolen by Peraza. Peraza, no look pass to Chacon. Chacon dribbles around on the left wing. Passes high. He gets it to Peraza. Peraza, nowhere to go with it. Gets to Cristal up top. Cristal over to Chacon, right wing. Chacon dribbles around. Gets to Swanlin for three at the top of the key, and that is good. 37-29, 2.30 to go here in the second. Saucedo brings it up, gets it to wide open Campa, and he travels with it. I think he was surprised he was that wide yeah. open. Yeah, he had a clear path to the basket and just got happy feet. So S is to inbound. Brush falls back into uh, to a man defense. Martinez on Chacon. Chacon dribbles all the way around the key, and they're going to get a foul here on Chacon on the floor. BS's ball underneath. That was on Lopez, that foul, his first. Fourth team foul for Brush, three for Estes. 2.16 to go here, first half. Shot from Hamill, doesn't hit anything but the backboard. Campa gets a rebound out to Lopez. Lopez long pass to Yurik. Back out to Saucedo. Saucedo looks to the three, doesn't take it. 
Kicks it down to Urick. Urick drives baseline. Doesn't go. Gets a, puts up a shot. Gets on a rebound. Another shot doesn't go. Estes with the rebound. Get ahead to Swanland. Over to Hamill in the corner for three. That one is no good. Urick with the rebound. Out to Lopez. Lopez pushing the ball. And passes too far ahead of Campa. So, you know, the first quarter, Brush with a great ball control. Yeah. Great passing. Kind of a little sloppy right now through this little span. Brush has an eight-point lead right now, 142 to go. Brush working through some subs here. Yeah, and it's nothing that SS Park has really done on defense to cause those passes. It's just Brush being a little lax lackadaisical. Barraza with the turnaround jumper in the lane goes. They fall back into their uh, matchup man or matchup zone. Saucedo from top of the key. That doesn't go. Lopez the rebound. Kicks out to Dunker. Dunker up top to Martinez. Nobody on him. Takes the three and hits that one. Roberto Martinez with three. 40-31. Barraza has the top of the key. And he throws that one out of bounds. So 59 seconds to go here. Brush with a nine-point lead and the ball right now. Brush gets uh, Donia's and, oh, timeout here. This Brush timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, turn to the office, Greg Mullen and Brush. Home, auto, life, health. State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call today, 842-4555. So, that was, uh, the thing is with us is, too, they're quick. They do get sloppy. Yeah. And that was that was a sloppy pass by Peraza there. And uh, there's, there's nothing you can really, you know, as, for the bee diggers, you know, they, they are making passes. as one-handed passes that, that I wish Armando would not do. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, they're getting a little sloppy and, and keeping Brush with the lead here. I think last time we played Estes Park, I think they had, were just running five players, if I remember right, maybe a sub every once in a while, but they have a deeper bench going in the postseason, which has helped them as well stay in the game. They did get beat, uh, by Platte Valley last night, um... 80 to 48. So Donius drives the lane. The floater doesn't go, but he was fouled by Rastetter. And Donius is going to go to the line to shoot two. That's Rastetter's first. Colorado Plains Medical Center, CPMC, has experienced physicians and a highly trained surgical team trained in the latest sur surgical procedures. Explore what procedures are possible in your hometown. So Donia's makes the first and hits the second, 42-31, and Dunker comes up with a steal on the inbounds there. Dribbles up top, nice pass to Martinez, Martinez for the layup. Great heads up defense by the B-Diggers. So Brush has the half-court trap on, works good, they get it to Kristall. Urich with the tip pass, goes right to Dunker. Dunker's going to slow it down. S is trying to trap. Get it over Martinez. Martinez drives in the lane. Yurik's there all alone, and he he got happy feet too. So those easy ones that they get you. <laughs> Seventeen point seven to go. That's the inbounds. Pressure full court here by Donez. Kick it over to Peraza. Peraza drives in the lane. I don't know how many steps he took, but a lot. Cristal from the left, right corner for three, and that is good. So four seconds to go. Brush kicks it ahead. One second. Brown shot doesn't go. Wasn't good anyway, but here at the half, your scores. Brush Beat Diggers 44. Eaton Bo or Essence Park Bobcats 34. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome back to halftime of the Beat Digger basketball game here. Um, looking at the uh, the playoff standings right now. Um Brush will be playing, uh, oh, sorry, I'm, it helps to look at the right bracket here. Um, 
either Eaton or Valley, uh, who are playing right now, and uh, get a score for you on that one. Uh, for hopefully uh, for the fifth place uh, in the Patriot tournament, and uh, see if we can pick up some other scores uh, from uh, Sterling and Strasburg and Resurrection Christian and Platte Valley uh, on the boys' side. Um, have to see if we can get uh, scores on the girls' games as well because uh, for the Brush girls, they'll either play uh, Platte Valley or Liberty Common who uh, who Brush uh, as, as, you know, they've definitely faced them, but uh, done very well against both of those teams. So, John John mentioned uh, sitting courtside. I'm really looking forward to that on Friday. That should be fun. But you just uh, you just want the players to sweat and be able to see it. No. No, you want to dance in front of everybody. Yes. Yes. I have to let everyone know That's that right. Matt's dancing skills are uh, are there. So well, the good thing is radio, you can't see it. Somewhere. i got to entertain <laughs> myself somehow. Got to have some fun. And ladies, he's available. <laughs> so we're going to get ready to start this uh, second half here. And we'll get off of Matt's life here. And so to start, uh, it'll be Brush's ball coming out from the possession arrow. Brush is going to go back with their original starters with Ben Brown, Gunnar Guzman, Jose Campa, Armando Saucedo, and Ryan Dunker. Dunker's trying to butter up the ref here before they get started, <laughs> and Nessus gets out here. Yeah, picked up two quick fouls there in the second quarter, and uh, hopefully uh, be able to uh, stay out of foul trouble the rest of the game here. So Estes is coming out, getting set up in a uh, man. They're pressuring all the way out of half court here. Prazo and Dunker down on the block laughing. So Estes falls back. Saucedo inbounds to Brown to start the second half here. Brown to Campo. Inside to Saucedo. Back out to Guzman. Up top is Dunker with it. Over to right, right wing is Brown. Saucedo has it in the corner. Pass, a little lazy to Campa. Gets tipped and out of bounds. That's his ball. Score again, 44-34. B. Diggers with the lead. Swanlin brings it down, gets it to Grasso. Grasso's going to drive the lane. Floater doesn't go. Campa the rebound. Hands off to Dunker. Dunker pushes the ball off the right side of the court. Right back to Campa at the elbow. Shot is long. Grasso the rebound. Gets it to Chacon. Cone guarded by Saucedo. Saucedo dribbles in, gets it to Rastetter in the in the key. His shot is off. Guzman the rebound. Hands off to Dunker. Dunker up the middle, guarded by Peraza. Over to Brown. Brown dribbles in the lane. Can take it up against Rastetter and gets that bucket. Brown takes it up against 6-4 Rastetter and goes right around him. Swanlin for three. That one is off. Grasso the rebound over Dunker. Kicks it out to Chacon. Back to Swanlin. Brown with another steal. Dribbles across half court. Slows it down. Gets it to Armando. Armando drives the lane. Right hand layup is good. 48-34. 6.30 to go here in the third quarter. Chacon brings it down. Takes it down the baseline. Kicks out to Grasso at the free throw line. And that bucket is good. 48-36. Sacito gets it in Dunker. Braz is the only one that's doing the full court press. Sacito takes it in layup again. He's fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. See who that foul is on. So that foul is on Swanlin. Mono just saw a little crease and, and took it. Yeah, he's been aggressive the entire game. Cutting with the ball, without the ball. First free throw is good. And he's been rewarded for that. 6-12 to go here in the third. Brush 13-point lead, 49-36. Armando shoots second. 
And that one is good. We got a lane violation on Armando across the free throw line. So we'll wave that one off. S is to inbound. Full court pressure here by the beat diggers. Chacon brings it up against Saucedo. Takes it down the baseline. Runs into Campa. Armando gets a steal there ahead to Ben Brown. Brown goes up with it. And another layup over Rastetter. Rastetter went up to challenge and Brown just took it right to him. Braze gets it and uh, goes to pass out. And pass is stolen by Saucedo. Over to Campa. Nice play there. Armando goes under the basket. The shot doesn't go. Gets, comes up with the rebound. Out to Armando. Over to Dunker. Left wing for three. That one hits the back of the rim. Doesn't go. Brown with another rebound. Brown dribbles it up top. Resets. Gets it to Saucedo. Saucedo out to Dunker on the left wing. Brown in the corner for three. That one is off. Braz with the rebound. Braz brings it down. Guarded by Campa. Loses the handle. Backs it out. He takes the baseline now. Goes up, pulls up short. All tapped out by Grosso. Armando comes up with it, gets the layup on the break. Great job by Armando. 53 36, five minutes to go here in the third. Peraza dribbles baseline, gets it to Rastetter. Rastetter is, has a shot blocked by Guzman. We'll see who they call the foul on. Campa was there and might have got him with the body. And they do call it on Campa with the body. Gunner had a nice block, he and he was upset. Yeah, he Foul's thought it was called. on him. He's laughing about it now. Rastetter misses the first. 4.58 to go here in the third. 53-36. Beat Diggers with the lead. And Esses Park's going to take a timeout here. This timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, turn to the office of Greg Mullen and Brush. Home, auto, life, health, State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call today, 842-4555. So I like this uh, Max Preps app here so we'll find out some scores. See uh, what Eaton and Valley are doing. See if we can get a score on that game. I like what Brush is doing. I talked about earlier with the lead not backing off, and they haven't yet. Still... Quick hands on defense, which has led to easy points for them. Well, and they they also are uh, are, are, are pressuring full court here. Yeah. Good rebound off the second miss by Rastetter. Lopez with the rebound there. Pushes the ball. Nice cut by Brown. Leaves it for Guzman. Guzman turnaround jumper doesn't go. Rebounded by Chacon. Chacon pushes it up. Gets it out to Swanlin in the corner. Swanlin a couple dribbles into Rastetter. Pass goes off his hands. Guzman with the with the pickup there, gets it over to Dunker. Dunker out to Lopez, top of the key. And, he, and he's going to be fouled by Grasso on the reach. And we don't have a current score here on Valley and Eaton. So hopefully uh, that gets updated. Armando to inbound here off of the foul. He's in Brown. Brown dribbles the lane. Goes in right hand on the left side and gets the layup there. Ben Brown, the game of his life right now. 55-36. Brush starting to pull away if they can keep their, their foot on the pedal here. Just keep it going. Dunker, the rebound off the miss. Dribbles in. Fakes the pass to the corner to Brown. Nice layup there by Ryan Dunker. 57-36. Four minutes to go here in the third. Swanland, three doesn't go. Guzman, the rebound. Gets it out to Armando. Armando dribbles up the court. Dribbles in the lane. Uh, gets too fancy. Tries to pass out. Peraza gets a steal there. Peraza brings it down. Goes up against Guzman. Gets the bucket and the foul. Nice play by Peraza. So Guzman's going to get his first foul. 57 38, 350 to go. Estes Park calls another timeout. Hmm. That was weird. I think the ref didn't know who called it. But Brush right now, 19-point lead. Um, just keep your foot on the on the pedal. Keep it going. Don't let them up. Transwest Chevrolet Buick serving Northeast Colorado and now located in Fort Morgan and Sterling. They have a great selection of new and used vehicles. Stop by and take a test drive. 
Transwest Chevrolet Buick. You need a new car. Yeah, but see, it has sentimental value to it. Okay, so it's it's important to me. You need to get over there and get you a new vehicle. What about you? <laughs> we'll, we'll play that one out. <laughs> Three fifty to go here in the third. Coming out of an S's park timeout. Uh, Brush fifty seven, Eaton thirty eight, and Barraza is going to the line to shoot one after uh, after making that a uh, little jumper. Lopez and Martinez and Urich are in now. And that shot goes. Brush inbounds a dunker. Kind of a short press. They're in man. Trying to get matched up here. Fellow subs. Martinez has it up top. Over to Urich. Right wing. Passes up top to Dunker. Over to Lopez. Right wing. Lopez dribbles in the lane. Takes it in. Nice layup there by Adrian Lopez. 59-39. 3.25 to go here. Chacon dribbles in the lane. Gets it to Cristal. Yep. And uh, got a jump ball. Urich just put his hand right on top of it. <laughs> Cristal comes down with a jump ball, be S's possession. Ball uh, under their own basket. Their uh, inbounds play, everyone lines up at half court. That's odd. we have seen that one before. Into Hamill, over to Cristal. Hamill's got a three. One dribble in, floater doesn't go. Lopez gets the rebound. Pushes ahead. Sacito's there by himself. And gets a layup. Won't say he's cherry picking, but he was cherry picking. Chacon brings it down, kicks it out to Swanlin. Left wing, dribbles in baseline, loses the handle, goes up the shot, doesn't go, gets his own rebound, punched out, gets to uh, Saucedo. Over to Lopez. Lopez slows it down, crosses half court, tries a crossover on Chacon. Kicks over to Dunker, left wing. Dunker up top to Martinez. Martinez, guard by Peraza. Gets over Dunker on the left, on the right wing. Dunker dribbles in the free throw line. Yurik's there on the baseline. Little jumper doesn't go. Gets a steal from Cristal. Gets a shot blocked twice. And the second time they're going to call a foul on Chacon here. I think that first shot he put right into the bottom of the <laughs> yeah, backboard. I think so too. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't sure where he was. But Eli's going to go to the line to shoot two here. Score 61 39, 224 to go. B Diggers with the lead here. Brush grocery cart, groceries, fresh cut meat, and deli items, floral, pharmacy, Western Union, and public service payments, 24 hour gas. Brush grocery cart is your one stop shop, 1302 West Edison Street in Brush. Eric misses the first. You're ready for the second. And banks that one in. It counts. Cone brings it up quick for uh, Estes, leaves it for Peraza. Peraza dribbles around the key, gets it to Hamill in the corner, guarded by Donez. Tries to pass back out to Peraza in the corner, and Donez knocks that one out. Be Estes' ball under their own basket again. Estes Park just can't get anything started. They really don't have a person to really go to. Uh, uh, they got Peraza, but... And even then, I think he's more of a passer than a scorer. Oh but. yeah, he definitely is. But the the defense that Lopez is playing on yeah. him has been yeah, unbelievable. So Martinez has it, dribbles all around. Finally, Swanlin comes up with it, gets the ball stolen by Lopez, over the head pass, and uh, Hamill's going to be called for the foul as Alfonso was coming down. That was a heck of a play by Lopez throwing that <laughs> ball, saving it. Getting it right to, to Alfonso, and Alfonso uh, gets fouled on that. Everything's just been going right for Brush. It definitely has. 14 fouls for Estes, two for Brush, 149 to go here in the third. Brush up by third, or by, sorry, by 23. Hey, you got it, man. I got to do math out loud like you do. Hey, whatever, whatever helps. <laughs> so Martinez inbounds to Donez. Donez has it up top, over to right wing with Lopez. Lopez spin around on Peraza, doesn't go anywhere, comes back, drives in the lane, kicks out to Donia's. Donia's for three from the left corner, doesn't go, rast out of the rebound, stolen by Donia's, stays with it, finally gets control of it, 
Nice pass in to Alfonso. Alfonso, his shot doesn't go, gets his rebound. Dribbles out to the corner, gets it to Donez. Out to Martinez, top of the key, over to Lopez. Lopez spins around, gets in the lane. Nice pass to Alfonso. Alfonso with the easy bucket there. Nice play by Lopez. Estes pushes ahead to Cristal and gets it a three in the corner there. They're playing a little bit of pressure. Russia finally gets under control. Yurik has it on the baseline. Over to Alfonso. Cutting. Loses it to Rastetter. Gets over to Chacon. Chacon pushes it up. Alfonso steals it back as Chacon went behind his back. And uh, does some fancy dribbling of his own. Gets it to Martinez. And Martinez a layup. 38 seconds to go here. And Peraza travels with it on the inbound. Another S's turnover. 66-42. 37.8 seconds to go here in the third. That's 25 turnovers for the entire game so far for Estes Park. Lo Lopez has it off the inbounds on the right wing. Gets up top to Donez. Donez to Martinez. Martinez dribbles in the lane. Goes with a floater layup. Doesn't go. Rast out with a rebound up to Peraza. Peraza stops at the three, then goes. Takes the baseline, kicks it out. Another three by Estes. Doesn't go. Martinez a rebound. Lopez brings it up, getting double teamed. Kicks it out to Alfonso. Alfonso takes a baseline. Little floater's good for Alfonso. 68-42. Right at the end of the third, Peraza comes in and layup. Doesn't go. They're going to call a foul at the buzzer on that shot. Peraza's going to shoot two uh, with nobody on the lane. That was Lopez's second foul. So Peraza's going to go and shoot two here as the teams head to the bench. So Peraza's first. Doesn't go. Second shot. And he hits that one. So with your score after three, Brush B Digger 68. S is Park 43. You listen to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome back to the start of the fourth, and uh, we start that up with Ben Brown on a layup on the inbounds. And uh, we're going to get a charge on the other end. Chacon takes, uh, takes it in, and Ryan Dunker's there waiting for him, planted. So we've got a charge and a Ben Brown sighting all within the first 12 seconds of the fourth quarter. Brush pushes it down, get ahead to Brown. Brown dribbles in the lane, kicks it back out to Dunker. Dunker gets to Brown in the corner, kicks up top to Armando. Armando gets it in to Gunner. Gunner kicks it back to Brown. Brown looks at the three, really short. That face he made just kind of set it all. Estes gets it down. Grosso takes it in, the layup doesn't go. Brown the rebound, has to make up for that air ball. Brown to Saucedo inside. Saucedo over to Campa, and Campa gets the bucket and the foul. So he's going to go to the line to shoot one. 72-43, 7-13 to go here. Boy, Brush has just put their foot on the gas and, and uh, kept it going. This is, uh, this is great to see from them, especially after uh, last night. One of the Brush coaches just keeps uh, saying five guys together, and that's the way they've been playing this game. So Campa makes a free throw. Estes brings down, works around Swanlin for three. That doesn't go. Armando the rebound gets ahead to Brown. Brown pushes it up, get, dribbles in the lane, oh, throws it right at Chacon. Chacon dribbles in. He's going to be fouled by uh, Dunker on the layup. It'll be Dunker's third. But yeah, it, you're you're right. After a blowout game, that nothing went right for Brush. They have to feel excited going into the next game. Well, especially by a team one. that already beat you. Yeah. You know, so you get some revenge on the on the loss previous, and then uh, and then also at tournament time, and you do make a statement like this. Chacon makes the first, he misses the second. Guzman the rebound gets out to Dunker. 
Dunker pushes it up, center of the court, gets to Brown in the lane. Brown, the fadeaway jumper goes. 75-44, 6.40 to go here in the game. Essence gets it to Hamill, top of the key, three doesn't go. Camp of the rebound, out to Dunker. Dunker walks it up, crosses half court. And try to pass into Saucedo. Tipped, goes to Brown. Brown gets it to Campa, cutting, and Campa gets the uh, another bucket there. 77-44. I can do the math on that one. 33. Brush gets a bucket here, and then the sportsmanship rule goes into effect. And we'll have a running clock. Just so we did last night. And there it is, Gunnar Guzman with the cutting layup. It makes a 35-point lead for Brush. And uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if they've realized this yet. Because they have the clock stopped here. At 5.54. 79.44. Dunker brings it up. Drives in the lane. Goes in for the layup and gets that one. Brush keeps applying the pressure. Ben Brown. <laughs> ben Brown just wrestled the ball away from a kid and turns around laughing. Called a jump ball on it. We're playing basketball, not wrestling here. 81-44. 5.41 to go. And the clock needs to, uh, there you go. Uh, now they stopped it again. Huh. Okay. So they get it into Swanland. Swanland gets picked by Armando. Armando with the layup on the other end. 83-44, 5.20 to go here in the game. Rastetter has it out to Cristal. Cristal cross court to Swanland. Swanland dribbles in, kicks it out to Grasso. Grasso for three, and that is good. 83-46, Lopez brings it up, crosses half court, kicks it to Brown in the corner. Brown dribbles in lane, kicks it over to Saucedo. Armando shot is off, Swanland the rebound, and Gunner's going to get a foul. Pick up a foul here by hooking him with a knee. So we are at 14 fouls for Brush. And uh, six now for Estes. Now they're asking about the clock. And we've had a couple of stoppages where it was supposed to be going. So, I think the refs are doing math out loud too, and they still can't figure it out. It's a good game for Gunner. He had uh, 14, and then he had five rebounds to go with it. So overall, good performance from Gunner. A lot of guys have stepped up tonight. Yeah. How many points does Ryan have? Uh, 11. So he's he's off his pace, but the other guys have stepped up and. Yeah, he really hasn't need to be the the, the guy for them today. No. Inbound pass for Estes goes to Peraza. Peraza wrap around pass to Chacon. Chacon against Lopez. Gets it back to Peraza. Left hand hook goes. 83-49. Brush of the game firmly in hand. So Brush uh, brings five guys out. Oscar Lopez is in the game now for the B-Diggers. And Grasso fouls him. That'll be the seventh foul, so Oscar's going to go to the line to shoot a 1-1. One one. So Grasso goes over, fouls out. Good gesture, goes over and shakes Coach Whipple's hand. Bryson Woolridge comes in for Armando. A chance for uh, some of the uh, guys don't get a lot of RC time to play right now. Armando had a good game too. He had 18. Go with six boards. And Roberto comes in for Ben Brown, who played the game of his life tonight. I think I've said that about 20 times. Lopez hit the first, misses the second, Dunker with the rebound. 
And for uh, a couple of these bee diggers, this is their last home game ever um, with Lopez, Dunker, Garcia, or uh, Guzman, Brown. So these guys have played their last game. We got a timeout, Estes, after they uh, just scored a bucket here. 84 51, 323 to go. This timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, turn to the office, Greg Mullen in Brush, Home Auto Life Health. State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call today, 842 4555. Brush really made some uh, adjustments coming into the game playing Estes again. Uh, they really, Rostetter went off uh, first time they met him. They've only held him down to four points. Uh, Peraza only has, well, I say only, it's still good, but he has 14. Um, so they, well, and, and Swanlin yeah. uh, was big for him there. But the key, too, uh, when they played up in Estes, fourth quarter, Brush had 14 turnovers. So yeah. I do remember that stat. Yep. Um, and, you know, a little bit more control. And so we are going to be back to action here. Warridge to inbound. Gets it in Lopez. Lopez to Warridge. Over to Dunker. Gets the full court press. Dunker crosses half court. And he's going to be fouled by Chacon. So Dunker will go to the line and shoot a one on one. Be the 18 foul. Eighty-four fifty-one. The clock does stop during uh, free throws. If they didn't, you could run out an eight-minute clock just on a couple of free throws. Dunker is the first. Second one on his way, and that's good. Ryan's shooting seventy-six percent on the year from the free throw line, so he can't. Pretty good on his part. Chacon brings it down, kicks it out, gets it back in the corner, takes three, that doesn't go. Peraza the rebound, kicks out to Cristal, Cristal over to Chacon. Chacon, nice crossover on Lopez, pulls back, jumper doesn't go, Swanlin's there for the putback. Nice, nice uh, play by Swanlin there. Lopez has it against the press, kicks ahead to Woolridge. Woolridge dribbles up the left side. Gets to Lopez in the corner. He's going to take a dribble into Lopez, out to Dunker. Martinez takes it in. He's going to be fouled going in the lane by Rostetter. Rostetter's 6'4". Martinez is uh, 5'7". <laughs> you can't shoot a layup from your, uh, from your waist. Roberto goes the line. Makes the first. Donez and Alfonso Sacido come in for Dunker and Lopez. Adrian Lopez. Good curtain call for the uh, it was there. Yep. Good way to go out. And Roberto makes the second. So Chacon dribbles it up. Gets to Cristal. Cross court pass to Peraza. Peraza got her by Donez. Pulls up for three. Doesn't go. Swanlin the rebound. And gets a put back bucket there. Esther stays in there. Full court press. And uh, Chacon gets the steal there. Puts it off of uh, Alfonso's back. So turnover by the beat diggers. That's only their third in the, fir- in the fourth quarter. That's uh. That's how they got to play the rest of the way out. She's going for three. Doesn't go. Warridge is a rebound. Looking for someone to help him. He's got to learn that trick to throw it off their leg. And you get trapped like that. That's just a steal. Get it in the rast at her. He gets the bucket there. First gets it in Alfonso. Guarded by rast at her. Kick it ahead to Donez. 120 to go. 88-57. Donia has fake, fakes the pass, goes in a layup, doesn't get it. Rast out of the rebound, gets ahead to Chacon. Chacon back to Peraza. Peraza takes it all the way in the lane, gets the layup there. 88-59, 105 to go. 
good for uh, for these players to get some uh, pressure like this. Yeah. So, Brush working the ball around. Peraza knocks that one out of bounds. 50 seconds to go. Brushed in, bound 88-59. Getting into Oscar. Oscar goes off of Woolridge, gets it back. Kicks it over to Donez. Donez to Martinez. Martinez, the layup there. 35 seconds to go. Brush, 90. That's just 59. Nice spin around by Chacon. Gets a layup on the other end. 25 seconds to go. Gets Martinez. Martinez dribbles across the court. He gets trapped, and they're going to call a foul here. So it will be a free throw. Stop the clock with 14 seconds. And I think this game uh, has been decided. Good job. <laughs> so Martinez is back to the free throw line, shooting the first. And that one doesn't go. I haven't seen Brush at 90 points in a long time. Martinez is the second shot, and that one goes. So, get up Chacon, Chacon, pass to Rostetter, goes off his hands, Donius has it, five seconds, four, and Donius is just going to dribble that out. So with the final score in the uh, district tournament consolation bracket, the Brush Bee Diggers 91, Estes Park 61, you're listening to 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome to the Bee Digger Post Game Show brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Farm and Home Center, which is your headquarters for all your home, farm, and ranch supplies. From plumbing to feed with three locations to serve you, Sterling, Brush, and Fort Morgan. Join here by Coach Whipple. <coughs> Coach. I'm, a little different than last night. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I, You know, I know... Um, S is doesn't play here, but you know they played better last time in defense. But we didn't get the defense we got against us last night. But still, this bunch goes up uh, scores <laughs> thirty something last night, and then we come back home and we score ninety. It's well, just, you, you, you know, you scored thirty six last night. You had thirty the first quarter tonight. Yeah, we, we we matched our total last night in the first quarter from last night, and. You know, I, I give it to the guys. I told them, you know, in the locker room t- um, tonight, I said, hey, guys, you know, this is playoff basketball. This isn't a regular season no more. It's who wants it the baddest. And you guys, you know, you've got to up your intensity and you got to up your performance level. And I guess they they took heed to what I say, and they went out and they played a great basketball game tonight. Well, you know, the the thing that struck me was, was the passing yeah. in the first quarter. And, and, and it stayed that way through the majority of the game was the passing uh cutting it was very crisp they were right where they needed to be uh nobody was lazy with the ball tonight yeah and i think a motion offense uh, we protected the basketball we didn't get in um, foul trouble and i in outside of one and um three i think the rest of them don't handle the ball that well so that's why we went you know away from our zone into a man i I'm always cautious to go into his own because we, we have a tendency to get in foul trouble. and um, But it, it all worked out tonight. Um, I'm proud of the bunch, and I guess we'll be ready to go up. And I think we either got um, – You've got Valley. Eat, we got, so we got Valley on, which is, which is good. I like to play them again. So we'll yeah, it, was, it was a close game the last one, and you know, it was one that you guys should have had. Yeah. Uh, I thought. But I think um, – yeah, Valley won 68-44 against Eaton tonight. Okay. So, well, Coach, we've got a, a game Friday at one thirty, Butler Hancock. Yes, sir. You can get the guys ready for it. Yes, they will be. We'll be ready to go. I think they'll be ecstatic when they find out we have Valley because I think they felt that they let one get away from them. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I agree with them on that so, one. So, and if we play with intensity and um, – you know, and play at the performance level. We play tonight and keep our hype level down, and I think we can repeat, repeat our performance tonight. I'm very proud of those young men. Coach, uh, take the night off, and we'll see you. Okay, all right. <laughs> we'll see you Friday. Thank you, guys. All right, sounds good.
So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back to finish up the post-game show. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome back. Uh, Matt, do you have a stats rundown for us? I know there's a lot of numbers on there. Yeah, so your leading scorer for Estes Park was Peraza with 17. And you got two tied with 12 with Swan- Swanland and Cristal with 12. And then Grasso with 11. Uh, for Brush, pretty even scoring. Your uh, leading scorer is tied with 18. You got Ben Brown with 18 and Armando Salcedo with 18. And then your next one would be Ryan Dunker with 13. Oh, sorry, uh, Gunnar Guzman with uh, 14. Uh, Turnover-wise, Brush had 16. Estes Park had 29. Brush also re- out-rebounded 35-28. Brush made three threes, S. Spark made seven, and S. Spark shot three of eight from the free throw. Brush shot twelve of seventeen. So it was, it was just a good all-around game by the B Diggers tonight. Uh, just a, a little bracket update uh, on the Patriot League. Um, as I as when I was talking to Coach Whipple, uh, Valley defeated Eaton 68-44. So uh, be a good matchup there, a rematch. Um, there was a uh, uh, a shocker of the night. Platte Valley uh, was beaten by uh, Resurrection Christian, seventy-one sixty-eight at Platte Valley. Wow! So That's uh, a big win. Big win for Resurrection there. And uh, the only game we don't have uh, a score on is Sterling and Strasburg, um, but we have a good idea of how that <laughs> one's going to go. Um, so we will be with you, uh, Friday starting at straight up noon with the, uh, Brush Girls, and they don't have any of the, uh, scores posted yet on the girls' side of the bracket. Um, I believe that's going to be on 94, um, point not, not, not sure the time there seven. on that one, if okay. it's noon or one. Uh, so it could be, uh, 94.5 The Ranch or here on 1010 KSIR. Um, the boys' game at 1.30 uh, will be here on 1010 KSIR. And uh, back-to-back games, and it'll be, uh, it'll be a fun day. Yeah, definitely. Day Looking forward basketball. to it. basketball. Yep. So, what, what was our... 91-61. That's, that's what I thought it was. The sound engineer and producer of Beat Digger Basketball is Rose Condes. For Matthew Gerald, I'm Greg Gatto with the final score, 91-61. You've been listening to Brush Beat Digger Basketball on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com.